Benny, uh, congrats on the milestone your first team, mate. Must have been really happy to, to come down here and, and get a win on what was a really big night for you and the, and the club. Yeah, not, not massive for me. I, mean, I know it's a, a number and different things, but, um, you know, it was a little bit of time just to reflect on, on your career. And, um, you know, I'm proud that, you know, I got to be in some different clubs and, you know, be in New Zealand and be in Singapore and, and be in Australia and, um, you know, get different opportunities in this league. And, um, you know, coming from an assistant coach for 10 years, you know, I absolutely appreciate, you know, the, the job that assistant coaches do in trying to get their opportunity and get a chance to, to coach in this league. And, you know, it didn't come easy. My first year was poor and I had people that backed me and um, were able to turn it around. And so, um, yeah, but tonight, you know, probably a little bit more like my career. We didn't start great, but um, once, we, once we found our rhythm um, and especially the way we come out of the half and uh, had a great quarter there and, you know, held on um, down a few players at the end there, but we, we held on. You mentioned coming out of the half. What was the message at halftime? It seemed like the boys really came out and, and from that word going on the third quarter really started the game. Yeah, and you know, I think um, there were some areas that we wanted to be really good at tonight, and that was, you know, defending the three-point line, and, and just the you can see the number of attempts they had might be I'm not sure if it's their lowest all year, but they've you know been getting up 32, 33 threes a game, and so just our scramble to be able to um, contain their three ball and. We just haven't rebounded the ball well the last few games, and so there was a big emphasis on how we did that. And I thought, you know, second chance opportunities and getting 18 0 boards, and um, and then I thought, um, you know, Ian Clark was exceptional. Well, I thought he just, you know, put the ball in his hands and and, and made some huge huge plays. Just on end, I guess how big is it? I guess for you as coach to know that you've got the trust in a guy like that to come out when the team really needs him to, to fire in the third quarter the way he did. Yeah, it's been you know it's been his career. Um, you know he's a winner and um, he d never seems rattled. He just enjoys the pressure when it goes up. And um, you know Cole Bowen sitting next to me tonight, come out and you know he needed to prove to some teams in this league that he can really shoot the basketball. And they gave him some opportunities, knocked him in, and then just kept going as well. So um, you know huge huge night for him. They pressed you right up until that final minute. How proud were you that the guys were able to? And that in that last, last yeah, having you know Shea fouled out and, and Ian took a little knock that didn't allow him to return, and so we were with Delhi there. We were kind of down three point guards, and so um, you know we weren't perfect in just advancing the basketball. And their pressure is always good anyway, regardless of who you got on the floor. But um, yeah, we knocked down some free throws and, and closed it out. Battle between Jordan and Shea was a really entertaining one. How did you see that matchup? Yeah, you know, I thought Jordan was a you know super problem at the start of the game, and um, you know he's he's always dangerous. The ability to stop on a dime and just let people fly by him and and, and make shots, and you know, obviously we we back ourselves with our rim protection, and um, you know, I thought as the game wore along, we we pushed him into to the paint a little bit more. Kyle, yourself, mate, must be really happy, obviously from a team perspective, but also your own game tonight. Yeah, for sure. Dean kind of touched on it earlier. Uh, just kind of not only proved to a couple of teams, but proved myself that, you know, I can hit the open one. And uh, I miss, I remember having this one circled because I missed two two wide open ones at our place when we versed Tasmania last time. So I'm glad I just kind of stepped up with some confidence. And that, that comes from Dean and the team, just kind of telling just let it fly, just, just get it up. So I'm happy I got to hit a few. But more importantly, you know, we walked into a hostile environment tonight and the, the team stepped up when we needed to. And I'm sure we would like to execute better uh, down the stretch, but you know we're walking out with a W, and that's the most important thing. From a playing perspective, mate, how pleasing was it for the boys to come out and respond like you did in that third term? No, for sure. We definitely, you know, had a few battles uh, throughout the whole game. It was going back and forth, and I think to come out so strong in the second half was really important for us to, to kind of settle us down and and kind of let it let it on our terms and. You know, this is, like I said, this is a hostile environment. The, the crowd was ridiculous. It was my first time here tonight. So, I mean, they're loud. Um, they were really into the game. But, I mean, we stayed tough and tight. And, and like I said, came away with the W. Dean, just to follow up, I thought Joe's influence, especially early, early when it looked like the Jack Dubs were going to get on top, was, was really influential. Yeah, I thought he was massive in that first quarter. Um, you know, I don't know, was it 15 to 6 or 4 or something like that? And, you know, we turned, you know, that whole quarter, 17 to 4 in the first five minutes. So, you know, we, it's, um, 
you know, that's a massive turnaround. I thought he, he made plays at both ends. I thought he challenged shots at the rim that just, you know, they looked like they were coming downhill pretty easy and he changed uh, shots down that end and really composed down the other end in the way he got to the post and, um, you know, also just, you know, finished plays off the short roll. A hundred percent. No, I'm loving Melbourne. I'm loving the team. Uh, from day one, I've had no regrets of the situation, the team, the place I chose. So, I mean, the NBL is a super physical league, and it's kind of something that I've had my eye on for a while to to come and play at. Um, and it's just been, you know, amazing so far. Uh, I'm loving the road trips. We're obviously undefeated on the road, and that's something really important to us. So. That's been really good, and then obviously uh, John Ken Arena, our fans are amazing, um, super loud every night, and I'm just glad we got another one on Sunday. So hopefully, same result. Ben, want to ask about Luke Travis? Do we underestimate what he's doing a little bit, maybe because I'm not sure why, but I mean, the influence that he's having on the team at both ends of the floor and in so many ways is remarkable. Yeah, you know, those two were a, a great punch tonight. You know, playing out our four spot. And, um, made threes for us, but yeah, LT, uh, there's just another level he goes to, and you know, we keep looking at games and it's like, wow, LT just made a big three at the right time, and you know, I thought the one he made at the top of the key tonight was 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 huge. When someone went under him, and um, yeah, rim protection, able to push the basketball, you know, he's our next best ball handler as well. So versatile in what he can do, and um, you know, he had a tough job with Jack McVeigh tonight and um, you know I didn't think we got our coverages right early on but then you know he just made some adjustments with with some coaching and um, you know just did a hell of a job you know those last three quarters so yeah I think we all underestimate LT a little bit because he's um, you know he does it in such a, a calm cool way and uh, you, you know you look at his numbers again tonight and double double again and um, huge for us. Yeah, I think we did a good job of at the quarter after seven games, just really assessing, hey, these are the things that we're doing great. Let's keep doing them. These are the things we're not doing so well. And, you know, our rebounding, you know, post the first two or three games had really dropped off. And so I thought it was just a mentality um, from the whole group tonight to to make your hits and um, really go box out and, and then scramble out of it, even if we did give up an O board. So... Yeah, and it wasn't a technical thing. It was just a, a an acceptance that we weren't great, and and to win this basketball game, we need to be so much better, and we were. Yeah, you know, big win for them the other night. I'm sure they come in uh, feeling pretty good, and um, yeah, a lot of challenges. They they've kind of they tightened up their rotation a, a little bit the other night, and. Um, you know, I thought their their bigs did a good job. I, you know, Albrecht down the stretch and Froling um, played well, and um, you know, we did a good job with Froles last time. And so I thought Ariel, you know, really challenged him. So I'm sure Froles is going to come back and and try and uh, you know change that one a little bit. But um, yeah, they're a talented basketball team, and they're um, you know Jacob's doing a good job just trying to figure it out.